Hey y'all, welcome back to Two Fat Girls. It's me, Mandy. I wanted to do a tag video today. Um, it's called The Story of My Life Tag. So I thought we would do that. I feel like I'm really awkward right now. Um, I got this from It's M. And apparently she's had another channel before this one. This is her new channel. So... She's super cool. Um, I just subscribed her the other day, and I, I think I've watched all of her videos by now. Um, anyway, there are 12 questions, and I'm going to try and answer them really quickly, but y'all know how much I like to talk. So, number one is when and where were you born? Um, I was born in California, um, and I was born. Oh my gosh, I don't want to tell you when I was born, because then y'all know how old I am. I was born in 1982, Ugh. and um, I was born in California, and which is weird, because like whenever we go and like visit now, um, my grandma always t uh, talks about me and Tiff, and uh, Bo, we have an accent, apparently we sound country, I don't think we sound country. I don't think I sound country, but apparently they think so. But to me, they they talk different. So, okay. Number two is, who chose your name and was there a reason? Um, my grandma actually named me. And my mom said that she was just like sitting in the living room or whatever. And my granny was at the ironing board, ironing clothes. And she was like, um, how about Mandy? And my mom's like, okay. And I, she did not pick the name from the Barry Manilow song. Like, she was just like Mandy. And my mom was like, okay. I did not know there was a Mandy song until I was like 18 years old. Actually, I might have been 19. Um, I didn't even know there was a song called Mandy. So, um, let's see. Earliest childhood memory. Um... There's a few that I can think of. I'll tell you one that I remember really vividly, and I want to say it's probably one of my earliest memories because I don't remember Tiff even being born. I went to the store with my uncle and his wife when we were still in California, and I went and they let me buy some stickers, and they were Cabbage Patch stickers, only they were like the, the poofy ones, the puffy Cabbage Patch stickers. And so I bought those stickers, and I was laying in the back of the car, you know, this is like the 80s. I had no seatbelt on. And, you know, because they were sitting up front and I'm laying in the back seat with the seat all to myself. And I was laying in the back seat on my back with my stickers up in the air like this, looking at my stickers. And I was looking at the window, looking out the window as the, um, like, poles went by. You know, like the electricity poles, whatever those are called. And I was watching them go by and, um... Genesis Invisible Touch was on and I was in the back seat like yeah I like this song <laughs> so that's one of my earliest memories and like I said I don't think Tip was even born then so you know Tip was born when I was four so that was I was pretty young then uh number four what were your hobbies as a child um I don't really remember having a lot of hobbies. I didn't do clubs. I didn't do like Girl Scouts or nothing. Um, I was really crafty as a child. Um, I liked to like not draw, but I liked to make stuff. Like um, I used to make bracelets, like out of the little the floss, the different colored floss. I used to make bracelets. Um, I made jewelry one time. You know, I made jewelry out of, like, this puffy stuff. Um, I like to collect things. Like, I like to collect um, clippings of stuff. Of just, like, random stuff that I thought was cool. Which then, like, later on evolved into, like, me. I like to keep magazines of, like, movie stars or movies or musicians or things that I like. Um, that was probably about it. Because... I really didn't get into like music or even anything else until I was much older. Even like TV and movies, I really didn't get into them until I was much older. Do you have any siblings? I have two siblings. I'm the oldest one. Um, Tiffers, which is the other fat girl on here. Um, I'm four years older than her. And then my other little sister, which you will hear me talk about 
often as bug. Um, and I'm 22 years older than her. And my parents did not get divorced and remarried or anything. My parents have been married like 32 years. Um, she just snuck in on them. Um, a funny story of something you did or said as a child. This one I had to think about really, really hard because I can't really think of anything that I did that was, <clears throat> sorry, I had like a pull or something. Um, I can't really think of anything that's like super funny. I know, um, which I've said this, I've done this on a Manny's Music Monday before, but it was like one time I was in kindergarten, I remember because we were living on base here in Kentucky and we were coming back from shopping and I was like sitting in the back seat, like jamming, like I was singing and it was Eddie Money's Take Me Home Tonight. And I mean, like I'm rocking, like I know all the words and I was singing, you know, like take me home tonight. And then I was like, I don't want to let you go to seafood night. <laughs> mom was like, what did you say, Manny? And I was like, I don't want to let you go to seafood night. And she's like, that's not how it goes. And I will always remember that because ever since then, I'm like really careful about who I sing around because I don't like to be corrected on having, you know, bad lyrics, you know, or I don't like to be corrected over <clears throat> having the wrong lyrics anyway. Okay. I've got to get a drink or I'm going to die. Okay, I'm having some tea and honey. My throat is killing me. Um, did you do well at school? I did do well at school, honestly. Um, I did really, really awesome in elementary school, middle school. I did really, really awesome in high school up until about junior year when I started taking really hard math, which I don't know why I even took that much math. I didn't need that much math. But um, I totally sucked at math and I sucked at chemistry. Although my chemistry teacher was really, really hot. And I had the option to like switch classes and go to like dumb chemistry. No dumb chemistry. They called that one ChemCom. And um, that no, I was like, I'm going to stick it out in this class with this really super hot like chemistry teacher. Because he came to school every day and he had gray hair and he always wore a suit when he came to school. And I just thought he was like the most, one of the most gorgeous teachers I'd ever seen in my life. Um, number eight, first teenage celebrity crush. Okay, we're going to have to do this in like a certain order. We're going to have to go with movie, TV, and music because I had three and they all kind of came around the same time. When I was like 13 or 14, I discovered the movie Sense and Sensibility one day. It was on like HBO and don't even ask me how I even started watching it because I didn't even see it from the beginning. And I remember I sat in Tiff's room and watched it. And that movie is like two hours long. But I saw Alan Rickman and I thought he was like the most beautiful man I had ever seen in my entire life. Like he is definitely not for everybody, but he is like my cup of tea. Like he is gorgeous and he has like the greatest voice ever. And I totally became obsessed with Alan Rickman and I still am to some extent today. Like I love him. Now, for TV, it was around the same time I discovered the X-Files, so I had, like, the most massive crush on David Duchovny, and I didn't even start watching it until, like, the fourth, excuse me, like, the end of the fourth season, and then the fifth season was when he had the most epic hair of all time, when he had sissies and Mulder hair, and I loved it, and I love David Duchovny. I've pretty much seen all of his stuff. I don't watch Californication because I don't have showtime. And then for music, I'm going to have to say John Resnick of the Goo Dolls, which, you know, he's been doing some stuff to his face lately that I don't really like, but um, he was gorgeous in the 90s. I mean, the slide video, I would destroy him. That's all I'm saying. He was beautiful. Um... Number nine, favorite song of all time. We definitely don't have time for this one, but if you ever really want to hear me talk about music, I do a, a thing called Mandy's Music Monday, and I'll just talk about random music, but I guess some of my favorite songs of all time are Heroes by David Bowie, Strangers When We Meet by David Bowie, Silver Springs by Fleetwood Mac, Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac, The One I Love by David Gray, um... Rooms on Fire by Stevie Nicks. I found out about you by the Gin Blossoms. There's a, I just don't have time for this. And you don't have time for this. You don't want this video to run a million years long. Um, 
10, favorite moment or memory of your life so far? Hmm. Um, I have a lot of favorite moments, actually. Uh, when I graduated high school, that was pretty epic. Um, when I graduated hair school, that was pretty epic. And I actually got a job cutting hair. That was pretty epic. Epic. Um, because when I was in school, I was like absolutely petrified of touching anyone's hair, let alone getting a job and doing it. And when I first got a job, I was like, every day before I came to work, I thought I was going to throw up. Um, when Bug was born, I don't have any children. I'm not married. Bug is my baby. I love her so much. So like the day she was born was a pretty epic moment. Um, let me see. Let me just try to think of cool moments. Oh, that one time I met the Goo Goo Dolls in Rockford and John Resnick totally gave me a hug and his cheek was all bristly and sweaty and it was beautiful. Um, the first time I met David Gray, that was pretty awesome. He told me the flash on my camera was nuclear. Um, there's been a lot of moments. So, yeah. Um... Have you fulfilled any of your dreams or ambitions? I did always want to do hair. So I will say I did fulfill that one thing. There's other stuff I would like to do. I would love to publish a book. Um, I went to uh, college for a little while and I thought I wanted to be a journalist. I wanted to be a music journalist. Um, I love English and I love writing and I just like all that kind of stuff. Um, I would love to be a hairstylist to the stars, like not here in America. Like I want to do awesome, like BBC, like I want to work, do hair for like the BBC and that would be great. So many awesome people at BBC and I think I, I could do so much good hair. I'm just saying I could do so much good hair. Um, oh, I think I just answered this one. What are your dreams and ambitions for the future? So I answered both of those in one. So I did fulfill my dream of wanting to do hair and I would love to go to the UK and do hair. That'd be the most epic thing ever. Like if I did like, oh, if I did hair for Sherlock, that would be wonderful. I would say I could do Matt Smith's hair, but he's not there anymore. I could totally do Peter Capaldi's hair. I really think I could rock that, you know, put like some pomade in it. Boom. There you go. And I would just like walk around just be like, to his hair all day or Benedict Cumberbatch's hair. His hair is so beautiful. I don't really care for it too much in Sherlock, but in general, he has great hair. It's like super thick. Not that I've been paying that much attention to his hair. I would love to do rock star hair. I always wanted to do hair for like a band. That would be great because I could do like so many cool colors and like all kinds of crazy razor cuts. It would be awesome. So, okay, guys, that's it. Um, I tag everybody. Everybody do it. And if you do it, let me know that you're going to do it. That way I can make sure and I can watch it. So, okay, I will talk to you later. Bye.